Hey guys, my name is Tom, and today we're playing some headquarters on Summit. Uh, I got the Laconian Scholar, the David Duchovny Enthusiast, and Clay Aiken back with me. Uh, you guys want to go ahead and say hi, just pass it down. <laughs> Worst names, yeah. Uh, the uh, David Duchovny Enthusiast here. Laconian Scholar, living the real. Hey, what's up guys, it's Clay Aiken. <laughs> And uh, guys, uh, E3, you know, is happening, I guess, I, like the last day is today for it. And we watched the uh, Modern Warfare 3 demo and uh, kind of talked about the game list that they were prepping out for it. And so we thought that we'd talk about, uh, I guess I'm mainly going to focus on Modern Warfare 3, even though Phil doesn't play a lot of shooters. But we're going to talk a lot about uh, a lot about other games, too, uh, uh, even ones that weren't, you know, that have already come out, like L.A. Noir and stuff like that. And we're going to try and... Uh, and keep it going pretty fast. So, uh, Sean, what did you think of the uh, Modern Warfare 3 big to-do? Um, I mean, uh, you know, uh, graphics-wise, I, th I thought it looked great. You know, uh, like, you, you know, I haven't really played a lot of the games, but, you know, uh, exciting. Uh, as I, I, I kind of said before, um, the only kind of, like, negative thing was the uh, the turret on the... Uh, the, the helicopter how like it didn't seem quite as threatening so much more like like you're just kind of like push buttoning like through a, a cinematic well you know yeah well you know like that 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 uh they're really like the missiles the missiles like right when you come around a corner there's like the missiles fire and that's all really pretty and everything but you know not necessarily really like life-threatening so you know I mean I, I just you know I, I, I don't know enough about the game for sure but that that was about the only irk I had <laughs> we talked a little bit about the advertisement for it and how that differed from what else, like, we watched, we, uh, Rage, Dead City. Yeah, the choice of the video and, uh, the sort of demographics they were going for as opposed to, well, it's called Rage, Dead City, right? No, 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 yeah. it's just called Rage. It's just called Rage? Oh, okay. And mostly, uh, I thought the most interesting part we had of that conversation was that... Call of Duty fans are going to be Call of Duty fans. They don't have to go after any sort of demographic that's not skilled in Call of Duty and the sort of techniques that all of you kids do. Because, you know, the fan base is already there and they're not going to pick up old, you know, Counter-Strike kids who don't play Xbox anymore uh, or computer games as much anymore. Because we just, we lack the skill. Whereas, like, last time we talked about, they are coming out with these new games that offer noobs a little more to play and obviously a little more they can spend money on. Clay can hear. I saw the, the new trailer and uh, <laughs> I saw the new trailer today. I watched it and uh, read, I was scrolling through all the comments on YouTube and everybody's like, this looks just like Modern Warfare 2. It's Modern Warfare 2 2. And uh, somewhat I agree with that. I think the graphics, as of right now, I know it could change, but they didn't look incredibly different uh if at all different the gameplay to me didn't look that different i noticed there was like a new scope on the weapon that but as far as like everything else it looked just like modern warfare 2 to me that's fine by me because i was a fan of modern warfare 2 minus uh the bullcrap that came along with modern warfare 2 a little later like one of my army and noob teaming and all that crap so um, and for me, it didn't show me a whole lot because I'm a fan of the multiplayer mainly. I didn't even really play through the uh, campaign all the way. I'm over for two. Uh, so yeah. And that, that's that's what I think the the interesting part is. It's like you said. Uh, you, you know, you didn't play through the campaign, and someone like Phil who doesn't play Call of Duty and isn't ever going to touch the multiplayer ever you know why would you give a shit about the single you know the single player game beyond that and, and i think maybe that with this demo like you mentioned the modern warfare 2 demo showing off the heartbeat sensor last year at e3 and this year they're just directly showing you like almost just here's the first fucking level of the game or some random level you know of like knowing that we're already going to be excited about it and and uh, we had talked on the porch too of like Call of Duty seems to know now that they you know uh, and like it's weird because Black Ops campaign was a little closer to being an actual like full game they did like a story it had a twist you know um, 
Uh, the trailer for Black Ops had um, oh, yeah, like, no, <laughs> um, no. The Black Ops trailer it did a lot of it, it played off of like the oh uh, you know Black Operation Secret Agent Man. There's a lot of shit you learn in history class that you know. And uh, Modern Warfare Two needs you know just seems to be like damn you remember uh, you know we hey, hey bitch we made Call of Duty Four and you know you remember you, how you kind of got bored with that last Call of Duty? Well we promise it won't happen again this time. Kind of. Kind of just like that, knowing that people are ready to play another Call of Duty, you know, multiplayer instead of every other game seeming to have to bust their ass to be like, you know, we're this new fresh game and, and going beyond that. And they don't have to work for it quite as much, definitely. Um, you should talk about the, uh, the 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 targeting system of the uh, remote uh, missile. Just cause you know. Oh, yeah, cause the Predator looked looked uh, looked a lot cleaner. I, I'm glad it's back. That was one of my favorite kill streaks. You know, I I think a lot more, you know. A lot more happened when they released perks and and all the other nerdy you know details that we really get into on, on uh, that anyone would get into if they played the multiplayer for for, for you know for the game. But be, until you know that, it, it's all you know it's all guess. You know what I mean? One cool game that has come out that you know I'm really excited about, and I think is pushing the edge of 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 of, of, of fun and games is La Noire. And and uh, like Phil, I want to ask you, what's something like what does Eleanor speak out to you? Like is like making you interested in it? I have no idea. What <laughs> <it's> like <laughs> well, it's genre based, and so that's gonna get any sort of demographic. I've you know talked to my dad about it, and he's like, oh, that seems like a game I could actually sit down and watch, and it would be interesting. Whereas. You know, I come in and sit in Tom's room all the time, you know, drinking a few beers and watching him play Call of Duty. And it pretty much takes those few beers to enjoy it. Whereas I can come in with L.A. Noir and, you know, get into it. It's interactive in the same way as the little robot game. Oh, as Portal, robot. you know, allows, <laughs> <The little> <laughs> allows anyone who's not control savvy to sit down and enjoy it. And possibly it looks like a game I could actually, you know... Maybe have the Nintendo basics of A, B, and direction pad and still know what's going on. And Also, the idea of it being graphics-based, as in what are the characters' faces doing? Did I notice the clue, or did I notice that possibly he was lying? These are issues that are not based in technique. They're not based in uh, me knowing how Xbox works, but just, you know, am I enjoying the game? That's, that's something that, like we talked about last time, maybe Xbox pushing more. What do you what do you want to see in a new game? Like um well a new way. game. I here's what drew me into Modern Warfare 2 is the trailer they they released um with the guys walking through the blizzard and you first see the heartbeat sensor a cool new gadget and and if you're going to release, I don't know, I didn't like the release of this um of the new game, the trailer. Because if you're gonna re release something like that, draw me in. That's just like a mission in Modern Warfare 2. Mon the Modern Warfare 2 trailer, where he's walking through the blizzard and has the heartbeat sensor, and he, they're talking back and forth and all that he stuff. He looks all badass, and and it looks so fun. That's just the the, the one that just got released is stuff I've seen before. Um, and so you asked what I'm looking for in a new game. I don't know. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 fixed, I guess. <laughs> That's what I wouldn't mind seeing it. Rip, that maybe it's based in. This is something else I considered of. Maybe for the Call of Duty veterans, of course, it's not going to look that interesting. There's not really any new gadgets except you can flip the little scope. But <laughs> <laughs> aside from that, do you think maybe they're reaching out to those kids who haven't hit up every single Call of Duty? You know, actually, what about Bloody on that line? On that note, on that note, Laconian scholar, uh, I do believe, you know, to 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 a degree, uh, when we were discussing, you know, it does, it does just look like a demo, you, you know, and, and showing off all that. Um, I mean, basically, maybe maybe the idea of trying to show off the campaign, like we were kind of like Tom was talking about, uh, that you know, you guys who've played it are going to hop right in, but maybe they were trying to actually show off a campaign that they thought they could actually draw in new people with. Yeah, but that, you know, you know that, cool that it's in you, it's in a recognizable city. Everyone knows what Manhattan yeah, looks like. Yeah, definitely. So people, so, so maybe that was the idea. Sadly, I have to say though, you know, for me, if 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 the target audience was me, 
and and I'm the person that they were trying to bring in, the person who really just doesn't have that much interest in it. I don't feel like it really it, it really worked. Where it, when you know when there are games like Skyrim and Rage coming out soon, then I'm just like, oh, you know, like <laughs> I just uh, you know I, I can't wait for those, and I'm just not uh, you know I'm just not excited by that necessarily as much. And it, it might be personal preference because like I I didn't like. Uh you know, uh, no, it's not even doing that. I didn't like, uh, what was it, Oblivion? The first one, you know, uh, part four? Uh, more, uh, more Wonder Oblivion. I, didn't, I couldn't get into that. So Skyrim and stuff like that, uh, it didn't really speak out to me. Whereas Modern Warfare 3, it, just the fact that it's coming out gets me stoked. Like, And, and, and that, I think that's, you know, like we said, that's what they're relying on. Is knowing that every other COD fan is going to have a boner. I know the video is about to cut off. Boom. We're going to have to pick a longer one next time, but that was still fun as shit. Hope you guys liked the video. Let me toggle the score so I even know how the fuck I did. All right. Awesome. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a great day and hope you enjoyed the video.